Hello my dear friends, welcome to this my first video. If you need to set up antennas like Bin Gen 2, here I will show you step by step how to configure radius of this type of antenna. My name is Jose Carlos and this is CBL Solutions. My channel is going to be about informatic solutions. So I'll invite you to subscribe to my channel, play the bell for receiving more of my videos and you will find content that really works. Well, this is the radio of the light beam Gen 2. As you can see, we have one LAN port of connection, right? So, we are going to connect this particular device into a PoE. This is the PoE that have two ports, a LAN port and a PoE port. What is the meaning of PoE? It's power over the battery. All right, this PoE has two labels. One label is the PoE, and the other label is the LAM. We are going to connect this device, this radio, to the PoE port, and we are going to connect the LAM port to the computer or the laptop. How are we gonna do that? We have two patch cable. We connect one here, and the other end is going straight to the PoE label on the PoE and we connect another patch cable into the LAN port and this other patch cable is the one that you have to connect to the computer or the laptop <clears throat> alright after we connect the radio to the PoE and the PoE to the laptop the default IP of the radio it's 192.168.1.20 as you can see you will not be able to access right now because we are not on the same network so what we have to do we gotta open the network interface okay change adapter options and then when we are on the network interface we got a static and IP on the same network of the radio for example 192.168.1.30 and the same subnet 255.255.255 we click OK and we will get access right now as you can see now we are able to access the radio on the IP that I just tell you before. We click advance, proceed. And this is the first step for the configuration of the device. The first thing is to set up the country. It depends on the frequency you are going to use the radio, right? So in the area that I am right now, I usually do Russia. So it's depending on the place we are right now and the frequency you are going to allow to connect the radio to the access point is the country that you are going to select here. The language will be English. I agree to the terms and I click continue. Then we are going to create a username and a password for accessing the radio locally. For example, I'm going to put UVNT. You can put then any password that you want. I'm going to put one password. and click save after configuring the login options what I recommend is to upgrade the radio to the latest framework how do I do that we come to system and we upload the framework if you don't have it still you can download it from the ubiquity downloads and you can have it locally on your computer. I already downloaded it, so I'm going to upload it from my flash memory. This is really fast. We will upload the framework and then we will upgrade the device with the framework that we just uploaded. So we click update. 
then we wait a couple of seconds until it finish well after we finish upgrading the radio we access it again and you will see that now is up to date the framework version right now is 8.7.1 the next step is to come to system and name the radio you come to the device name label wipe it out and you can put there the customer name you don't have to click save now because once you do all the changes then you click save and it will save everything okay the next step you come to network and you will see it's on bridge mode so you change it to router mode on configuration mode you change it to advanced in order for you to have more features you static the IP and you put the IP for your customer let's see an hypothetical IP it will be like 10.1.2.50 then you put your subnet depending on the configuration of your network so this is entirely up to you then you put the gateway IP the gateway suppose like it's like 10.1.2.1 the primary DNS is usually the same gateway 10.1.2.1 and let's see that we can put like for a secondary DNS IP Cloudflare for example 1.1.1.1 you can use Google, Google like 8.8.8.8 .8 then I recommend you to select the NAT protocols in order to have access to all those protocols then you have to unselect the block management access because if you leave this on you will not have remote access to your radio so you will only have access locally to this radio antenna you can select the DMC and put the DMC IP like the same IP that you are going to give to the router for example 172.168.1.2 and then you can unselect all the IP version 6 addresses because it usually do only conflict with the version 4 so I strongly recommend to unselect it then we are going to configure the radio locally we can leave it like that or you can put another network that you have in mind that's entirely up to you I recommend you to select DNS proxy and the DHCP server and I want to show you something the range I strongly recommend you not to leave such a big range I recommend you to use only one IP for the range so if you delete this the range will start on 192.168.1.2 onto the same IP so it means that the IP that this radio is going to give to the router or the computer that connects it to it will be only this IP so you will have the option of set up your router with this IP you can static it and you will get connection and the last step is coming to wireless and here you are going to set up the configuration of accessing to your access point here on this option you just have to put the password of connection to your access point and once you select this option here you will see all the access point that you can reach from your radio you can select it and it will use the password that you put here to connect to that access point and after that you just have to click save and it will save all the changes and the configuration will be applied and you can see that now you can access the antenna to the other IP that we just put 192.168.1.1 we put the login information And that's it this is the customer name 
and all our settings are already safe as you can see I hope this video has been useful and I invite you to subscribe my channel in order to see more coming videos and also you can let any comments about subjects you want to know of. Thank you very much for seeing this video until the end.